Okay, it is said that art has a way of healing, both mentally and physically. Of course, the folks at Mary Free Bed Rehabilitation Hospital know that firsthand. And right now, there's an amazing exhibition at the Grand Rapids Hospital, 90 pieces of art from 35 different artists. The really interesting part is that the artists are current and former patients. Let's head inside to check it out. On the walls of this hallway at Mary Free Bed Rehabilitation Hospital is a very special arts exhibition and the artists themselves very unique. We are talking with Sue Steckety of the Mary Free Bed Guild and Sue, this is really special. It is special. This is our 30th annual uh, art exhibition here at Mary Free Bed. There are 35 artists who all have physical disabilities and are displaying their works from now until the end of the summer. Many of them have been patients here at Mary Free Bed. Yes, they have. What are the different types of mediums used? Everything. We have acrylics, watercolors, metalwork, wood carving, ceramics. They just do a great job. And they all have a physical disability, which makes it even more special. Why don't you tell us about some of the artists that are displaying their works here? Well, right behind us, we have Old Blue. And Old Blue was constructed by Lane Cooper, and he does metal work. He goes and he finds scraps of metal and puts them together and makes these beautiful sculptures. The Guild has purchased this one, so people will be able to see him in our atrium from now when they come to Mary Freebed. Lane had a uh, close head injury in 2003 and he was a mechanic from Alticor and um, since then he's had a lot of migraine headaches and he's had to retire early from his job but he enjoys this artwork and shares it with everyone. As you can see by his artwork, yes. he's still putting his hands to good yes. use. And he also did a, a beautiful butterfly that's on display here too. So it seems in the case of Lane and others that the artwork is actually part of their therapy. Yes, it is. Many um, occupational therapists encourage our patients to use artwork as a way to increase their motor skills, but also as an interest in something they can do in their free time and bring joy back to their lives. Mm. And then this right here, this is just beautiful. It is. This is done by Jason Routley. He was in a four-wheel accident, became a paraplegic, and uses art as a way to express himself. This is really cool. So how is he able to do that? He actually had trouble holding a, a paintbrush or a um, pencil in his hand. So his art teacher made a mold of his hand and then they got someone to make a rosewood tool that would hold the paintbrush and the pencil in his hand so that he could do this beautiful artwork. So, so a lot amazing. of these artists have had to use adaptive equipment, but they still can um, do the artwork. Some even you know, use a paintbrush in their mouths. They're all so beautiful. That's pretty incredible. So can we buy these pieces yes. of art? Yes, you may. And there are many pieces here that are for sale. There are a few that have been bought by the Guild already that will be displayed in the hospital. All the artwork in the hospital has been purchased at these annual art exhibitions. So this one here, um, has been purchased by the Guild and will be in one of the hallways here at Mary Free Bed. But these two are for sale. Autumn Bliss and 68 Charger. That's awesome. And so an exhibition you don't want to miss here at Mary Free Bed Rehabilitation Hospital. Isn't that inspiring? Inspiring and amazing. I mean, I know. the artwork is so beautiful. Right, and it's interesting. We showed how uh, there are three works for a lot of people. Some mm -hmm. have just a couple there, but there's a photograph of the person who created it and a little bit about their story, about how they ended up in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And like in the case of some artists, how they're able to do their work. If they're a quadriplegic, right. maybe that they paint with the, with the brush in their mouth. And it's just amazing to hear those stories. And the exhibition at Mary Freebed actually runs through September 4th. You can see the artwork between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday through Friday every week. So beautiful. And if you're interested in buying the artwork, and a lot of them are for sale, all of the proceeds go right back to the artists. Right, so it's a great way for them to make a living also. What a great way to bring someone else's story into your home, and yeah. the artists are local. Yeah, well you have a new home. I so do. do I, so uh, maybe we have to get some go artwork shopping to and fill up those walls. Yeah. Oh, such an amazing story. Yeah.